Okay, we're going to continue with this same beat that we've been using in the, in the previous video. We showed you how to build it. So this time, we're going to switch this up. Currently, it sounds like this. How would we take this? Or, okay, actually, we had that version, and then we had a uh, nice little jungle version, too. So how would we take this now and turn it into a house beat if you wanted to say so you're in the house you have to know how genres work and what bpms to work with for most types of music and know how quantizing works because we don't have a quantizing option to change the quantizing you have to use the bpm as you're quantizing so 175 would be the same as half of that right um house usually works at 120 to 140 ish to be safe so let's go down to like 130. you'll notice now that the beat sounds totally different But if you bob your head to it, before we even lay the house lead, you know we can go and it'll sound nice. So what do we have to do? First, turn down anything that has drums. And then we'll use layer 8 or 9 as our house kit. So we'll go in here. We'll draw two bars in. Click edit. You'll notice that this happens fast. It doesn't take too much. House three or two or one, doesn't really matter as long as you have the same pattern. Yeah, I like that, why not? So we simply put in a uh, repetitive kick on every first part of each measure. Okay, and then we can go one step further. And now it sounds even more like house. Let me turn that down a little bit. Okay, and then we can go one step further here. I like to do this with my house. Just so it breaks it up nicely. Okay, so now we can even mute the other drum tracks and you can hear that it is a pretty good, easy sounding, repetitive house pattern. Okay. Okay, duplicate that all the way through. We can now grow this out, and we will actually shortly, but I'm gonna bring in some of the other layers now too. Mute some of the others too. One thing we'll do is with the bass line, bass works differently when it comes to the genres. And in house, bass tends to work with a very kicky sort of sound that's also repetitive. And there's also actual tones, but we'll try to find something cool here that we can work with. That's nice and short. Hmm. Low, quick, perfect. And we'll unmute everything and we already have a very nice eight bar house loop. This will take a little bit to grow, but we're gonna go to 32 bars. Give it some time, it's calculating everything. You'll notice that things become a little bit more complex looking because you're literally seeing 32 bars. And you can see that some of the bars at the end there were a little bit too far over. Just snap those back into place. And now, I mean, everything's still the same, 
you can still drag everything. You can still copy stuff. Here's what we started making our house kicks and patterns. So we'll copy that over first and we'll edit it. And then here, I want to fill this right in now. And I want to have some claps happening too. Okay, so now, if you know how a house works, it's a, it's a lot of repetitive builds. So you're always building and dropping new and more complex sounds or pulling back a little bit, dropping in the bass line, dropping in your next lead instrument. So we'll try to grow this from nothing into a nice full sound. Okay, so already we have a very nice 32 bar loop now. And we can see how this sounds live or we can go to export and export it to our wave. Turn the master down a little bit. Okay, so when house usually starts, let's see you'd export that. You can use that as a good midpoint of your track or just loop that right there a bunch of times. But usually what happens with house is it starts off very soft. Even the beats. We'll get rid of these. If anything, when it comes to the drums, Maybe start off with a little bit of a hi-hat for the first couple, and then bring in some of the other sounds. I won't even bring in the bass yet. 